Saturday morning. It's half past 11. I'm all showered and ready for the day. We went to park run this morning and we got over to the park and turns out that it was actually cancelled. So it was only a 15, well, it's not even, it's like a two minute walk from our flat. So when, by the time we got there, we realised it was cancelled. There was no one around. We were like, where's everyone? We decided that we would just do a 3K. So that's what we did. Came back, had a nice coffee. I'm all showered and ready and I'm about to head into central London because we go skiing in like a couple of weeks time and I don't have any gloves, socks, base layers, thermals, anything. So I really need to pick up some basic bits. I'm hoping it's not going to cost too much money because I don't really like spending money on like clothes you can't see. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and do that. And I really quickly wanted to show you what I picked up from Sweaty Betty the other day. Sweaty Betty. It sounds so bad in a Scottish accent. Um, yeah, some bits I picked up from the shop the other day on my way to spin. I think you would have seen a clip of it in my previous vlog, but anyway. Okay, so we have the Sweaty Betty bag. I wish they'd given me a bigger one because I actually bought quite a few things. They are doing a discount where you basically buy a pair of the power leggings and if you buy a top or a bra, you get 30% off. I think the whole bundle, like both of them, or it might just be 30% off the top. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, I went into the shop in store. I love shopping in store nowadays. And I was just like kind of obsessed with a lot of the things. So I was, yeah, I went for the deal. <laughs> so the first thing that I picked up was I went for a bundle. So I got the little, this is called the Athlete Crop Seamless Workout Top. And it's basically like a little top because in spin, I'll wear like a little um, sports bra, which is fine. Obviously I'm in a spin class full of women, whatever. Sometimes if I'm not fake tanned and stuff, I just feel a little bit like, not exposed, but I don't know. I just think I would prefer to have a little bit of a tank top going on. These are the perfect length to meet the leggings because the leggings are obviously high waisted. So it kind of goes up. You do sometimes, like you could either have it pulled down or you can have like a little bit of tummy on show. But I just thought this navy colour was really nice. It goes so well with the black. Like, it's a dark navy. It looks really nice. It's got the little Sweaty Betty logo there. And before discount, this one doesn't have a price on it. I think this was 35 And it's called the Athlete Crop Seamless Workout Top. There, if you want to buy it. So that was lovely. So I picked that one up. Then I got... A power I think this is a power bra power medium sports bra so it looks like this and I thought and the lady in the shop also said it would look really good and I did try it on it looks really good underneath this with the blue bits creeping out I really love how it's got thick straps it's also got cups in the bra which I think I probably I don't know I'll probably take them out don't really need a bit of extra cleavage or whatever it is trying to make this looks really good on and it also really holds you in like sucks you in properly i've got a few sports bra now sports bras now that are probably like 10 15 years old from tk maxx and they are like far too small for me and that's the only reason that they're actually providing support whereas this one it feels comfortable but it's still supportive if that makes sense so i got that one i also picked up the same crop tank in the blue color and again this looks really cute underneath there and it goes well with the black i just thought this was like a nice color to go for um, and it's really stretchy as well like this is not going to be too hot or bothersome in spin it's more just like providing a bit of like length and they're really thin as well so i thought this blue color would look really nice as well and then the boring parts so the lady in the shop persuaded me to go for two pairs of leggings because obviously i was doing the deal so I got the full length. Actually, I need to double check that they're both full length because I only saw one. Yeah, this one is the full length. I get the size medium. To be fair, I probably could do <laughs> could do with the large nowadays, but I think the medium's fine. They're just leggings. They're very stretchy and breathable and they're so comfy. They have the little pocket on the back, which I find is really good for park run. I could put my headphone case in there, my AirPods case. And then also the best feature of these leggings they have a big pocket down the side, so if you can just see where my hand is going here. Oh, it's actually not as big, maybe mine are just stretched, but um, it like perfectly fits your phone. So you can put, I put my phone in there when I do park run and it stays like tight, probably because of like the, I don't know, the material and the, the way the pocket is. But obviously if you don't have anything in there, it just doesn't even look like a pocket at all. 
but they're really good. I actually have one pair of these that doesn't have a pocket, which is kind of weird because I think they all do. Maybe it was an older version. So I got those and I got another pair. I'm just checking their full length. Yeah, same ones. So yeah, that is my little haul from Sweaty Betty. I think I paid in total for all of this. I think it was like £212 or £213. And these are normally 88 on their own. Why do none of these things have a price on them? These are normally 88, I think, or 87 on their own. Um, so yeah, I think I got quite a good bit of discount. The bra was, I think, 45. Oh, the bra was 55. But I made sure that she put the bra through with the leggings and the discount. And then I paid for one of these tops separately so that I got the discount on the bra rather than the discount on this because 55 versus 35. I would much rather 30% off this. So yeah, that's everything I picked up from Sweaty Betty. I'm about to get ready, get my hat on, get wrapped up because it's like three degrees in London today. It's like freezing cold. Um, and yeah, I'm going to head into central London and buy some more bits, spend some more money. My favourite thing to do. No, I have actually, I got a bit of Christmas money. So that's why I spent it on my workout stuff because I'm doing spin like multiple times a week and I have no clean clothes. I have a very disgusting thing to admit, but I did spin last week three times and I did it, no, sorry, I did spin this week twice. I did spin the week before three times and I did park run on the weekend in between. And I wore the same pair of leggings for all of those occasions. And if you do spin class, you know how much you sweat. So it's actually gross. And I was starting to be able to smell the, the smell of sweat on my leggings. So I was like, something's got to give here. And it's going to be my bank balance. <laughs> okay, bye. Just gonna find somewhere for lunch now. Ooh, no, not really. This small bit of room. We did see her, didn't we? I think we're gonna try and pop into Liberty at some point. We're gonna head for food first, but I want to have a look in Liberty. Mm, no, because I'm kind of starving. Yeah. So we're gonna head back after we eat. This is one of my favourite restaurants in London. We went in one of my other vlogs. Really, really good food. It's quite new. It's the sister of Brat, and it's better than Brat, I would say. We tried to go to somewhere in Kingley Court, and pretty much all the places that I remember had. Uh, closed down so we have decided to try Miznon or Maiznon I don't know the pronunciation but it's basically delicious pittas that you fill with like chicken hummus like falafel it's meant to be incredible so we're gonna try this place and it looks really good I feel like my glasses are steaming up we tried to go to Kingley Court but it was actually everything was closed down in there from what I remember so we have decided to come to Maisnon or Miznon and it's a falafel place where you basically order, well you can do falafel, I'm going to do chicken, rotisserie chicken. It's in a pizza, it comes with hummus and all different fillings, it looks incredible so I'm really excited. We've got a table that looks out onto the window and it's a little record store over the road and Studio Nicholson as well.
We just had our delicious lunch at Mais Non or Mais Non. Then Mais went Mais in Studio Nicholson. How do you know it's pronounced like that? Because M I Z would be Mais. Mais Non. And now we are heading to Uniqlo. We've got so many bits to get from there, so we're gonna see what we can find. And we're just loving being in central London, aren't we? It's so busy today. Well, some of the shops are quite quiet, but it's not yeah. too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not like Christmas time. Would highly, highly recommend that place for lunch, by the way. It was to die for. It had like a garlicky chicken mayo thing going on. And Matt had the Ali steak. Alioli. Alioli. And it was to die for. Like, would highly recommend. It was relatively cheap for what we got. So, good. Really There's good. a Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, I know. I've never seen that before. Okay. Simmons, your favourite? Simmons, worst place ever. Never go to this bar. Shit. <laughs> We're just in Muji, having a wonderful time looking at all the organisational things that we don't need. Pricing is quite random, I like, saw this. It's quite cheap. Oh yeah, that's quite expensive. I saw that and I was like, oh that'd be nice. So the bedside table, I was like, oh it's 50 quid. Then, it's quite a lot. Yeah, considering we just bought gloves for 8 quid. Diffusers, whoa. Aroma we diffuser. We could. The scents do smell really nice and the candles are really nice. We're back out onto Oxford Street. Chaos and hell. Actually, not too busy today, which is quite nice. There's the big IKEA shop that is the bag. Isn't it? You know, it's meant to look like an IKEA bag, right? <laughs> it's not open yet. It's been like that for a very long time. We're gonna head to John Lewis now. Matt just tried on some nice jackets in Uniqlo but we didn't have his size, so we're gonna go and try Double John Lewis for Rab. I think he's gonna get a Rab jacket. If it, if it looks the part, because I was quite happy with the Unico one, so. Yeah, let's see. John Lewis now. I love being in a department store. It feels very festive and Christmassy. And all the beauty halls are amazing. See so, this works. We had no luck in John Lewis, so now on to Selfridges. It's also lovely to just walk around Selfridges and see the food halls and the beauty areas and all the gorgeous designer shops. So we'll take you in there. We are also getting ready for maybe a drink or a coffee break because we've done a lot of walking. <laughs> we've literally walked from one end of Oxford Street to the other. And here's a Disney store for old memories. I was borderline obsessed with the Disney store when I was younger. Every birthday and Christmas I would get a new big Eeyore cuddly toy. Thank you. We have just been to North Face 
We've been to Buns from home and now we are headed finally home. Yeah. We're on Carnaby Street and it's very busy and we can't wait to get on the tube and get home. It's so cold as well. Matt's has gone in to go to the loo really quickly. We have had a whole day of shopping and we are exhausted. This is my little view of Carnaby Street. Well, this isn't Carnaby Street actually. This is one in the streets just off it. But so many cute little shops. Sculpted by Amy. I've never seen one of those at IRL. And then this is like typical London pub scene. Shakespeare's head. I'm back from the shops now and I really wanted to do a very quick haul of all the things I picked up today because I'm super excited about a few bits. We went to Muji, we went to Uniqlo, we went to a bunch of different places. So let me just quickly show you. First thing that I picked up was in Uniqlo. It's one of their ultra light down feather kind of jacket liners, which is just so thin. It can literally, if I just do this, it can literally go into a tiny little ball. It's so small, it's so thin, it's like paper, and it just creates such a warm, extra layer under your jacket so today i wore an old zara kind of i love this zara coat but it's not warm at all and it was really cold and we went to uniqlo and when i saw this i just thought this is going to be perfect it's got no collar it looks really cute without anything on top of it but it's got no collar so you can actually wear it underneath things it's so thin that you don't notice it's there but it just adds an extra layer of warmth and i'm really pleased with this it was supposed to be 60 pounds but they're doing a sale just now where you get them for like 49 95 or something so i picked up that then i also picked up one of the heat tech ultra warm thermals basically it's like an under layer i got the small men's in black because they actually ran out of loads of the women's sizes and i just had a look in the men's and they had this and it's got this heat technology it's meant to be great whenever i've been skiing in the past i've only ever really worn like a couple of layers of um like a, taking a couple of thermals with me and I think that one will be fine. I also have some really thin like sports sweaty Betty like tops that I'm going to take with me so I thought I'll just get one of these and it was also like 25 quid so I thought it was quite expensive actually. Then we went into Muji and this is where we actually got loads of things. Muji is actually very similar to Uniqlo in a lot of the things that they stock and um, they do a lot of like basic clothes they do socks, they do some of their own heat tech stuff, they do pyjamas, slippers, like all of those good things and everything's very minimal and aesthetic and just gorgeous. Anyway, we went in and I saw that they had gloves on sale where, for our ski trip. These were supposed to be £30 and I got them for £8.95. They're just normal gloves, they're really cosy. Um, they have like that whole fleecy thing going on inside and I think they're just plain black gloves, so perfect for skiing. They're also doing a deal just now. I don't know if it's like now or all the time, but they do three for $9.95 on their socks. And I realized they do these socks. So I got three pairs. Well, I actually got four pairs, but they do all different colors. So I got the black, the burgundy and the cream. And it was mix and match across all different styles. And they do this loose top so there's no um elastic in the top so it kind of sits really nicely on your legs i always imagine i always saw girls in summer where they would have like these cute little white ankle socks on i think my when i take socks off i've got big ridges where the ankle socks are like digging into my th into my um ankles but these are like completely loose so you know they're like they would not leave a mark i don't think let's see but yeah, I got a white pair, a black pair, a burgundy pair. And then they also had a sale on just all different kinds of socks. And the brown were $2.45 in the sale. So I thought, let me just get them as well. And I need new socks. I feel like I'm always buying new socks, but I just don't know where they go. So I've got four pairs of new socks. Then I did that thing where you get to the till and you're like, oh, what are these little things in these little boxes? And I saw these little face cloths, basically. But they call them towel handkerchief, which is interesting cotton towel handkerchief these were three pounds fifty each but they're really thin little face cloths and i got a stripy pink and then like a stripy gray and i just love these for taking makeup off i realized i got my elmas pro collagen cleansing balm for christmas and it comes with a little flannel and 
I don't know why I haven't been using a flannel to take my makeup off for a long time because these are really handy and so easy and I like the stripes because white just gets so dirty but I feel like stripes kind of takes your <laughs> attention away from the marks on them. Then also at the till I just randomly saw these but these were £2.50 and it's two linen pillowcases and they're like washed linen and I asked the lady I was like are these definitely for like normal sized pillows for your bed not cushions and she said yeah so I'm gonna give them a go it's always handy to have like a little extra set of cushion of pillow covers um especially if we ever have like people staying on the sofa and stuff it's like handy to have these so I got them then on the way home we popped into cost cutter and we got some little goodies for tonight we're just such yeah we're fans of these two crisps so the flaming hot cheetos the watch it and then i got a fan to lemon i got a fan to lemon as well so that was delicious and then the real star of the show our absolute favorite place when we were in carnaby street we went to buns from home the absolute best place ever and we got i'm just gonna whip this out and show you but we picked up some of their focaccia bread which just looks incredible I hope you can see that okay it's got rosemary sea salt and it's just like dense oh my god it looks so good we're we gonna have it with some olive oil i've got some nice extra virgin olive oil so i'm gonna have a bit of that tonight and it's from buns from home and then obviously we couldn't go to buns from home and not pick up their cinnamon buns so i'll just quickly show you what we got you know the packaging. I went here in Vlogmas, if you remember. You might not have even watched that video, but Buns From Home are the best buns in London. They are so flaky and crispy. They're like croissant slash cinnamon buns. They're just so good. And we got two, I don't know if you can see these. We got two of the original ones and then we got a pistachio one. So we're gonna enjoy I think we're gonna share the pistachio one tonight and then have these two for breakfast tomorrow. Um, so yeah, if you ever come to London, if you're ever around Oxford Street or Soho area or anywhere, they've got them in Shoreditch as well. Buns from home. They are a must try. They also have one in Angel. Then when I got home as well, I've been doing a lot of shopping lately. I also picked up a hard drive for my editing, my videos, because I'm running out of storage on my phone and my laptop. And this is, yeah, a hard drive for that. And I got a laptop stand, but I'll show you the laptop stand at another time because I have to construct it. So yeah, that is everything that we picked up today. I hope you enjoyed coming around London with me and kind of having a little explore around Soho and doing a bit of shopping. Um, but yeah, thanks, for, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.